In this short video, I want you to try to write out the electron configurations for each of these. So you'll notice I have a lot on the screen. It's going to take you a couple of minutes. But when you get the hang of it, you get faster and faster and faster using your seating chart. Okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to do these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 electron configurations. Pause it. Come back here in just a second. All right, let's see how you did. I'm going to move through these quickly because I, I do them a lot, so I'm a little bit faster. But let's see what you get. Magnesium, you should have had 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Sodium, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Now, let me show you something real quick. Okay, when you start looking at both of these. Wow, this one ends in 3s2, but this one ended in 3s1. Is that logical? Absolutely it's logical. They're next to each other on the chart. Sodium and magnesium. So that makes it a little easier. Okay? When you do fluorine, you should have had 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. Is that one full? No, but it's close. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Notice, neon is full. We drew one in the last video that was argon. Interesting. It ended in P6 also. Huh. Chlorine. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. Lithium. 1s2, 2s1. Calcium. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s. That one's a long one. 4s2. Helium. 1s2. Oxygen, 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Nitrogen, 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. And sulfur, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. Now I want to show you something real quick. I have to block this light just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Here's what I want you to do real quick. I'm going to give you a hint, and then I want you to do the same thing. There are some patterns that I see in these electron configurations. I'm going to give you one. Watch this. Notice that magnesium and calcium look a lot alike. Not in their long configuration, but look what they end in. S2, S2. Huh. See if you can match up some other partners. Pause the video. We'll come back and see how you did. All right, here are the partners you should have gotten. Sodium, looks like that one. Lithium, you'll notice that fluorine and chlorine look alike. They end in P5. Oxygen and sulfur look alike, P4. Neon, we said a while ago, I'm going to put this around this one, look like argon a while ago. And this one didn't have a partner. And this one looked S2, S2. Hmm, this one's odd. If you look at the chart, you would think that he's going to go with magnesium. And if you pick magnesium and calcium and helium to be together, that's really logical. You would, you would have a good idea. But if you look at the chart, magnesium and calcium are next to each other, but helium's not. Matter of fact, here's a huge hint. Magnesium, calcium, we're partners. One is, they're in the same column together. Sodium and lithium, same column together. Chlorine and fluorine in the same column. Oxygen and sulfur. So there's a pattern to what's going on with them. For in the next video, we're going to go a little deeper.